He's gone. We in? Yeah. Okay, on course now. The electric blue streamliner. This is the BYU built and sponsored uh, streamliner. Running in. So nerve wracking. Yeah, that's a Good smooth run. Looks like they're getting that car well sorted out. With an average uh, record qualifying speed for the uh, BYU electric car, 155.799 miles an hour. That is absolutely awesome. Woo! Yeah! How's it do? 175. Jim Burkdahl is the driver. He's driven cars in excess of 300 miles an hour out here. He ended up with a 155 average. Today we set a land speed record. The record's now 155 miles an hour. The start of the day today is definitely nerve wracking. You get to the pits and you spend an hour and a half staring at the car waiting for uh, things to happen. And, uh, Especially because of what happened last year. We went to set the record and rolled the car doing 180. Last year was his first real run on the salt. There was six years getting to that point. BYU built the world's first E1 class electric vehicle. We're in the lightweight class, the 1,100 pound class. The two halves are carbon fiber, custom built by students. It took at least a year to build the frame, the chassis. The body was two years. Over the years, 130 or so students have worked on this car. Putting the car back together over the last year has been the adventure, and building it better than before. Now we have to certify the record. You've got to check all the time slips, do the averages. Okay. What do we need to do well, for you? First, I'm very impressed by the uh, 40 mile an hour pickup. That well, way. last year it did 180, but rolled. Yeah, right beside me. <laughs> Got it. Unbelievable. Yeah. Isn't that cool? 175. This is like uh, Christmas morning, but like five Christmas mornings. Or seven Christmas mornings. That's how long it Best took us to get here. <laughs> My retirement's been scheduled for the last couple of years, and I am officially retired, and this is a wonderful closure to 31 years of teaching at BYU and many projects, um, but this is uh, the one that kind of takes the cake, so I'm done.